using my position, and I still don't have the promise. Come on now. Come now, Abraham, that you're at the end of yourself. I have your attention. Yes. Now you will stand trusting me. Glory to God. And now I said, and what's the next verse? He started not. I'm, I'm gonna stop at 20. Let me pick up next week. He started not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Yeah. And being fully persuaded that what he had promised, yeah. he was also able to perform it. Let me teach you this. I hope I don't preach. Yes. Yes. Watch what happens here. And this is gonna help if you get it. If you're walking down the road and something comes into your life, it bumps you or trips you. What's going to happen is that you're going to start yes. out of the place that you was in. Yes. You're walking down, something trip you, then you catch your balance, so you're staggering. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Something something come and blow it by your head. You just do it like this, but you lose your balance, so you're staggering. Yes. Wow. And what you and I got to understand is this. When you stand believing, unbelief is going to always be present. Yes. Yes. Watch this now. And the book says he started now. What did that mean to you and I in the natural? It means that when everybody showed up, yes. he didn't allow it to dominate his life. Right. Right. Come on now. Come on. He saw it coming yes. and he braced himself for it. And even if it hit him, he was so solid in what he believed. Right. He had a conviction, being fully persuaded. Right. That even when unbelief, when depression showed up, when oppression showed up, when hurt feelings showed up, when discouragement showed up, when anger showed up, he, 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 was, he was committed. I need to tell somebody this morning. You gotta be committed in the process. You can't stop it every time something goes wrong. Hey. Oh, Am I preaching this right? God sent me here to tell somebody, grow up. You can't be blessed every time something don't go your way. You stop away from believing God. You can't have an increase every time somebody hurts your feelings. You stop coming to church. You can't increase every time you get another relationship. You stop coming to my feel like You stop coming to church. <laughs> Glory, God! He started on He didn't quit when he took the car. He didn't quit when he took the house. He didn't quit when she or he left. He didn't quit. Your, your, your head. He stopped enough. He was on a mission, though. God said, I'm going to use you to bless the word. He didn't quit when he lost the job. He didn't stop coming just because he couldn't get tired. He, he, he stole the tire and still kept going. It was going to happen here. But, but, but he, he started now. Am I helping you earlier? He started now. What I'm telling you, if you want to walk in the faith of Abraham, you got to have a conviction. Be fully persuaded. That's a conviction in your heart. If God said it, he's going to do it. But please don't understand, it's dark right now, but you can't stop it. The enemy throws you all kind of curveballs and throws all kind of to get you to stop it. That's right. He wants you to just get off course. Yes, yes. And then become comfortable off course and think you're in faith. Yes. While you're doing it your own way. Wow. But you're out of God's promise. Am I talking? I'm preaching yes, here. He started out of promise of God through unbelief. But he was strong in faith. Strong in faith. Teachers, remember not being weak in faith? He didn't consider himself. He was strong in faith. Put all the confidence in God. What this means is being strong, I'm, I'm, I'm going to teach you this, then I'm done. Being strong in faith means being strong in a faith life. You get a promise, you sit in that promise, and you let it take you where it wants. Amen. But what you talking about, preacher? The promise that he would be the heir of the world was made to Jesus, but it took him to the cross. Yes, yes, wow. Come on. Yes. There's too much teaching in it. Come on. Yes. It is too much in it. For y'all who are looking for short, the promise that he would be there after one was not to be the Abraham on the seed, but as the seed of many, as a one. That's why when Jesus got back to heaven, God gave him the Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. And the reason why you and I have the Holy Ghost is because Jesus gave to us. Oh, yes. 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 He didn't just show up in heaven and the Holy Ghost would be released. He said, no, I got to go. It's speeded that I go. The book says, Acts chapter 2, verse 32 or 238, that when he now been exhorted, on the majesty of high, at the right hand of the majesty, he having been seen of the Father, the Holy Spirit, the Father of the Holy Spirit, he sent him abroad. Amen. So, he didn't start at all. When they walked him on the cross, he didn't start. I'm done. When they beat him, he didn't start. It's a cotton they just figured his face. And you tell them and let one of y'all stop from giving a praise? <laughs> I don't think you know who's going. 
But the question is, David's figure his face. He was unrecognizable. Oh but he didn't stagger. 